This is Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this Kading Live video, we will be showing you how to get your GIF play within your Kading Live video. You may spend hours or even days creating a GIF, depending upon the amount of animation within the GIF, only to discover that even if it is created using Kading Live, it will not play within your video when placed on the Kading Live timeline. If you had watched our previous video on how to create and render a GIF in Kading Live, you would have learned about the difference in render format. You may notice I have three GIFs here, one rendered from GIMP, another from Kading Live, and one from Krita. In order to have these or other GIFs play within Kading Live video, they must be saved in a broke down fashion called frames. These frames could be a JPG, but the suggestions from other professional guidelines and animators say that PNG is the best format for saving animation. Being that said, let us take a look at the Kading Live GIF broken down into frames. There are two important factors here. One being the numerical order 0 to 12, meaning 13 frames, in the PNG format. For example, these five PNGs were not yet made into a GIF, but I captured them for this video tutorial. Notice they are, all, they are called screenshot. But, as I said, the important things are the numerical order and PNG. Although the numerical order can start at any number, but also they are in their own folder for ease of use. Now let us open KDN Live. Once KDN Live is open, click on Add Clip. Bring in the video you would like to use with your GIF, like animation. Place your video on the timeline of KDN Live. And do any necessary editing like removal of audio or any other edits you would like to perform. Before adding the gift like animation, once this is done in Kadian Live, go to Add Clip and navigate to where your PNG frames are. In the lower left hand corner of the Add Clip window, put a check mark in the box that says Import Image Sequence. Then in the Kadian Live Add Clip window, Highlight the first frame in the sequence, mine being zero, and then click OK. This places the PNG frames in the project bin all bundled together. And in the Kadian Live clip monitor, you can give it a playback. Although the animation may appear to be functioning, it is still without total functionality and the speed may not be right. So we need to make some adjustments and add some features. Go to the Kadian Live project bin, right click on the clip that holds the animation frames, scroll down to clip properties and click. First we must adjust the frame duration. This will control and allow certain things to occur. For example, it will change the speed of the animation and assure all frames show properly along with the ability to stretch the animation. I found that a duration setting of 10 seconds worked great for my animation frames although yours could be different. 
Once you are done setting your duration, click OK. Once you play your animation, if it is not fast enough or something is not right, go back into the properties and readjust for best results before other adjustments are made. You may have noticed your animation plays as a video at this time. Now in KD Live, go to the title bar and click on monitor. Notice the looping option. This is an improper view. For example, there should be one grayed out loop item. What caused this is because I have more than one item highlighted. The video on the timeline and the animation in the project bin. If this happens to you, off click the video on the timeline so it is no longer highlighted. Assure you have the animation in the project bin highlighted and then go back to the title bar and click on monitors. Now notice the loop selected clip is grayed out. This is the proper view. So scroll down to loop zone and click. Notice in the KD Live clip monitor, your animation should now be playing. Stop the animation and drag it to the KD Live timeline, placing it on top of the video where you would like it to play. Once this is done in KD Live, Grab the edge of the animation clip, dragging it to the length you would like it to play to. We must now add an effect for proper size and placement. Go to the KD Live effects list and click. The effect I will be using is the position and zoom. But any of the effects that hold these adjustments should work in KD Live. In the KD Live effects search bar, type zoom. Grab the position in zoom, placing it into the animation clip on the timeline. In this KD Live effect, we will be adjusting the X and Y functions as well as the size. But you can also do this by moving the corners and or the crosshairs to find your proper placement. I know my dimensions, so for the sake of time, I will type them in real quick. Now notice my placement of my GIF-like animation. It still allows for a good view of the video and the animation to play within the KD Live video. Once this is done, it is time to give in a playback. If everything looks good and you are happy, then it is time to render. Here is my rendered part of this portion of this Kading Live tutorial. In this next portion of this Kading Live tutorial, we will start by talking more about PNGs and where you might get them from. Some of the most obvious are by creating artistic work within a program such as Krita or GIMP. But there is also a chance you have developed a video and wish you could have made a portion into an animated GIF or GIF-like function that could play in your video. For this, I will use my video player totem. It has full capabilities of taking screenshots. Open the video that you would like to take your screenshots from. Navigate to your first screenshot. In the totem taskbar on the right, click the drop down menu, scroll down to take screenshot and click. Navigate to the next frame you would like 
and take another screenshot. Repeat this until you feel you have enough screenshots for your GIF-like animation. This may take a little bit of getting used to, but once you have it down, you are on your way. Totem should have saved the screenshot to your picture folder. So let us take a look. Notice as I highlight these screenshots, the first screenshot has no numerical value. There are times when this could be an issue. If it is an issue, you will notice it right away when placing it into a folder as it would appear out of order. If this happens to you, just rename the screenshot, adding the number exactly as the other screenshots are labeled. For best results, create a new folder or use an empty folder, placing the screenshots into the folder for ease of retrieval and use. Now open Kading Live, go to Add Clip, and bring in the video you would like to use with your newly created screenshots that can now be considered animation frames. Once this is done in Kading Live, go back to Add Clip and click. Navigate to the folder you save the screenshots to put a check mark in the box called import image sequence highlight the screenshot of the birth numerical order and click ok give it a playback in the kdn live clip monitor then stop the playback or if it is stopped on its own go to the project bin right click the screen shots clip now known as animation frames scroll down to properties and click adjust the frame duration and click ok and give it a playback if you are not satisfied go back in to the properties area and readjust if you are satisfied and happy place your video on the kdn live timeline and do any editing that is needed. Once this is done, I sure to off click so as the video is no longer highlighted. Go to the KDN Live project bin, highlight your screenshot animation frames, go to the KDN Live title bar and click on monitors. Scroll down to Loop Zone and click. Your animation should now be playing in the Kading Live Clip Monitor. Stop the animation. Drag the animation frames to the timeline, placing them where you would like them to play in the video. Once this is done in Kading Live, then stretch the animation to the proper play length. Then go to the effects list in the search bar, type zoom. Drag the Kitty Live position and zoom into the animation clip you created and placed on the timeline. Adjust the X, Y, and size to the proper dimensions. Once this is done in Kitty Live, give it a playback. If you're happy, then it is time to render your video with the gift like animation. This is my rendered portion of this part of the Kading Live tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this Kading Live video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to receive notifications your way of newly released videos. I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abeyu1. 
from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.